All right, what do we get? A beautiful whetstone. Always gonna buy that. This is for free. We buy this. We roll. GG. A broom. A broom on sale. That's a curveball, guys. Okay, I've never played a broom. We're going for the broom, guys. We're going for the broom, but we need to see how we position this freaking broom. We do this. Now the sword is still in the ranger backpack, which gives the sword bonus crit, of course. We want to bring this, but we also do want to bring this. We're adding damage to the broom. Uh, how much cooldown does the broom have? 1.7 seconds. 1.4 seconds on this, so we want to buff this, rather. Because it attacks more often. I think I'm gonna lose with the broom, guys. I'll keep it a stack. I think we lose this fight, because we're actually kinda weak. Oh, I didn't mean to roll. Ah, whatever, man. I, I wasted one gold. We're actually kinda weak with the broom here, I think. He just has armor. Nah, I'm going dead last. Ain't no way I'm winning in this armor. 3 HP, unlucky guys. He had 3 HP left. On sale. Deserved. GG. Deserved, guys. The freaking served. Alright, now we can put the banana out of the backpack because that doesn't do anything. We're just gonna buff this thing and we're gonna transform it into a hero sword. Very good. Very good. I think... Uh, can I somehow buff the stone as well? Mm, don't think so. Can I? Probably not. Alright, do we just go? This is on sale. Which Loki... Kinda gotta buy it, bro. But honestly, am I going crossplates? I'm probably not going crossplates with an early broom. Frick it, I'm not going crossplates with an early broom. We could go for the sword, find more whetstones, combine that sword again, and just go for the crossplates build. But since we have the broom, we can go for a build that I saw on a Twitch stream once. Of a very good player. I don't remember the name, I'll keep it stuck. I think Time for Miracle. Yeah, Time for Miracle, that was the name. I was watching him. And he was playing a crit build with the... With the Hero Sword next stage, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't buy anything here. Nice. Stamina sack is nice. We need stamina. We definitely need stamina here. That is very good. Then again, we have this. And then Loki now, we can just point it at both our weapons. So that's beautiful. We put the stones next to the sword because the sword gives the stones bonus damage. There we go. I think that's better because now I think the stone can crit. Yeah. Stone gets bonus crit. So that's really beautiful. That's absolutely perfect. We just move this here to make it look prettier, but it looks like garbage anyway. Because we have some open slots, but that's fine. He's combining his sword. He's freaking weak. This is a GG. Easy win. Bye bye. He's freaking trash. Okay, I need one more whetstone here. The garlic is good, but I don't really need it. Oh, now what? Hammer on sale. Nah, I'm not buying hammer. This is pretty nice, but I think I need to roll for whetstones. I'm on round four. I need to just roll for whetstones. I can buy a stone. I don't need more space. I just need whetstones. Again on sale, this. Um, gloves of haste are pretty nice. And the full lifesteal gloves. That is just, that is just beautiful, man. Ah, frick, man. I think I need to roll for whetstones, guys. I'll keep it a stack. Just keep rolling for whetstones. Nice. We got the whetstone. That's big. I can just sell two stones. I think I'm not gonna go for a stone bag anymore. And it's a force! The GG! We have a quicksand as well, which applies some blind. Doesn't really matter that much. And GG. Alright, so we have most of the components ready. Maybe I should have frozen the blueberry. The blueberry is actually really important. I'm stupid as frick, guys. I should have frozen blueberry for sure. I'm as dumb as a mother trucker, huh? GG, I guess. I think I win this. Nice. He has the. He doesn't have the big sword yet. I get the triple sword now. We buy a fanny pack here. I have enough space. I think I should roll 
for what? For nothing? I mean, I'm not buying this for full price. This is very cheap. I'm buying that. I could buy the gems now. The gems are pretty good now. I think I'm really strong now. I can greet the gems. Let's just greet the gems. Hey, hey, hey. Let's just greet the gems and go next turn. So what we need now to complete our build is we need the bows and we need the crit staff. We need a mana orb to make the magic staff with the broom, and then we need a crit bracelet. Okay. Oh, I'm freaking strong, guys. It's Jover. Also, the, the, the stone should be touching this. That's my bad. That's just stupid. Because this gives a lot of bonus damage to the stone. Four damage bonus. Okay, I'm pretty strong now. I have a good early spike. I don't need this. Stamina usage is high. The stamina sack is nice. It's pretty expensive, though. I really need room. Uh, what does this do? Weapon sockets on attack, 25% chance to attack health directly, gain two mana and inflict. This is pretty good. Let's do this. How much cooldown does this have? 1.6 seconds, 1.7. Do this. I mean, do I just roll here for a mana orb? Pan on sale. Okay, do you think I can greet the ruby egg? Reflect two debuffs, hatches after two rounds in your backpack. And then it hatches into a dragon. And it's a very early ruby egg. It's a crit wood staff. Yes, yes, yes. Is this is this worth I don't think so, man. Also, I shouldn't be rolling with, with this freaking thing in the shop because it gives me odds for gems in the shop which we don't want the lifesteal thing is not bad nah, just keep rolling. another whetstone uh -huh. come on i can't say no to this Use three, inflict six blind for five seconds. Deals plus one damage for each blind on your opponent. How do you maximize this? Like, what else applies blind, guys? Nothing? Also, I think I buy this space. I don't think I'm buying that. Freak that garbage. I think I'm just going like this. Broom applies blind. Oh, frick, man. Ah uh -huh, man, on hit if you have at least one mana, 25% chance to inflict blind. Ah uh, man, I didn't I never read the room. I'll keep it a stack. Thought it's just a trash item. But I'm not really applying that much blind. Man, how strong is he? Hey, hey, kill him, kill him. Go, 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 Three health points left. Man, I just didn't get anything that round, you know? Okay, all I need is a mana orb. All I need is a mana orb and we're chilling. It's Jover. All I need is a mana orb. And it's freaking Jover. We're optimizing perfectly. We're giving infinite crit to all of these, even the stones. That's good. Nice. Fanny pack on sale. Now we can restructure this a little bit. Any pack on sale is very good. Because now we can give our weapons bonus attack speed. It's extremely good when they're in the when they're touching the fanny pack. Very good. Or satchel or whatever it's called. Lock. I don't think I need luck. I need blueberries. Nice. Okay, now I have infinite space. It's definitely worth buying it on sale, though. I think I should be strong enough, right? Stamina usage is high. I have one stamina sack, though. This guy is strong, but he has three weapons. Does he really have the stamina to support this? Wait, but he just popped me, bro. 
He just freaking popped me with his double spike shield, didn't he? And for this build, I think we're supposed to go Yggdrasil Leaf. Instead of Piercing Arrow. Piercing Arrow is too greedy. Yggdrasil Leaf has more luck generation. This is good, it's on sale. There's a, there's a bow as well. Oh, okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, so I think I'm selling this. So I can buy the bow as well. And then I don't think I'm buying this. But honestly, like how much do I need? Four gold? Your opponent's healing is reduced by 15%. Chance to remove a random buff from your opponent. Chance to inflict one. Okay, so this is useless. Poison is useless. And I just sell the quicksand. And buy this. I think we have room for this. Now we have to restructure everything. So I have to dump everything here. Uh, we need to we need to point at the blade with our thingy, with our arrow. But the arrow needs to touch the arrow needs to touch the ranger backpack and the satchel. So how do we make it touch the ranger backpack and the satchel? The broom will not be touching the satchel anymore. So this seems fine, huh? This seems very good here. Ranger backpack and the satchel, for frick's sake. Mm. Oh no, this is good, this is good. No, it's not touching the ranger backpack. Um, okay, so hold up, let me just put this here. Let me just put this here. So this guy has to go through them. How can it touch? How can it point at him? While also touching it can't, right? It can't. Maybe we just do this then. Just do this then. It's fine. I don't think I have enough room here. You can do this with your arrow keys, guys. Just in case. Okay, and then we just go broom here. Go broom like this. Mm, this goes here, so it hits all of them. This goes. It's kind of bad. The magic stuff is gonna combine now. And then this just goes down here. I need some stuff up there though. Oh, I don't need the stamina bag here. Let's do this. Okay, and now I need to activate the mana orb as well. I also need as much value on this. <laughs> I'm not getting any value this turn on this, am I? Ah, I mean, it's not that bad. I get some nature stuff. And the banana has no room anymore. I don't think we can fix this either. I think this is fine, but without, without, without the banana, I'm not really getting any... So I think I want to reduce their healing, right? So I go for... Purple gem on this. Uh, we pull this here. No banana, it's just a grief. Am I just playing without this? Is the banana... Is the banana better than the armor? Is the banana better than the armor? 45 armor? Oh, you're, you're actually right. No, I lose some Yggdrasil leaf value. Yeah, yeah, someone is saying put the banana here. I'm losing some Yggdrasil value. But, I mean, that is for later to worry about. Because this banana is really important. And I'm getting mana orb value, which isn't that bad. And then I'm just missing a thing. There's a gem as well. Do we really want this? No. I think I'm good. I think this is pretty good. So the arrow uh, points at this. Um, when the weapon crits that the arrow is pointing at, the arrow will shoot twice, which is great. Just a lot of damage. Uh, so now all we want is mana generation, because mana generation is gonna generate uh, luck if we have a lot of blueberries. So we just need blueberries now. We need to combine this into this for a magic wand, and then the magic wand is gonna combine with acorn color into a crit wood, and that's gonna give us even more crit, and it's Jover. And that's our complete build, that's already it. And then we just need more arrows, and more bows pointing at each direction, onto our uh, onto our blade. We want we want literally triple, uh, triple bow. 
And that's our complete build. And then you just scale up your mana. And then you just generate a lot of luck with the blueberries. And then you just one-shot the enemy at the end. It's like a ramping crit build. Nice, blueberry for free. It's a ramping crit build. Nice, perfect here. Look at this. It's really good. And now this combines into a crit wood. Crit wood staff. There we go. What does the ma magic staff do? On attack, use three, three mana to deal plus six damage and increase its damage by two until the end of battle. Okay. Interesting. So what do I do here? Do I just buy more of this? This is pretty good. We can buff more attack speed. That's great. Get more attack speed on our weapon. And then honestly, I roll here. We lock this. And we just go next. We lock this bow. And we go next. GG. And we also are freeing up space, right? By combining our items. We're freeing up space. I think it's time to sell the leather armor. We don't really need it. I just needed it for one turn because it was on sale. So I don't really lose money for it, right? These are... Guys, we're... In such a good position now. I think this is... We can take this all the way. 18, 18 rounds. We can take this all the way. The lamp is pretty good for the generation of the stats. 11 gold as well only. I need to sell this anyway. I'm selling... I'm not selling this, am I? Uh, I don't really need to sell this. And now we just need to do this. Ish. We also want it in the backpack, so maybe here. So what we do now is... I need to read this. I never read this. I only saw it on stream. Use 4 mana to deal plus 7 damage. And for the next 1 second, all your attacks are critical. <laughs> what the frick is this? Holy. Does it do anything by touching people? Not really, huh? So you don't want to touch anything. You just want to touch this. So it just wants to be in the thing. So this doesn't need to touch anything, but it needs to be in the in the crit thingy, in the crit backpack, right? It needs to be in the crit backpack. Uh, how do we do this? So the crit backpack is here. We want this pointing at it. We want this pointing at it from the top. So we just move this down again with arrow keys. You can do that very easily. And then we want the crit wood at the bottom here. And then we just do this, right? Like this. So I just need a little bit of space here. I think I'll use the stamina sack for that space. So I have more space for the Yggdrasil leaf. Maybe bottom left goes the Yggdrasil leaf. And we try to set up a nice little corner for it here. It needs to touch nature items. I think I will not get a lot of value if I do this. This is actually better, huh? This is great. Because I'm not going to get that much value on it anyway. And then I do this. I do this. That is pretty great. And then... Uh, is, this, is this a nature item? No. Okay, and this, I think we point it away. So usually you point it at the weapon, and then it gives the weapon um, plus 27 damage when you use seven, 7 of everything, right? All these stats. But you just want it for the generation. It just generates more juice. It just generates more luck and everything. It's fine. It's honestly pretty good. I can put the one rock onto the weapon and one rock can get the crit from the backpack. I think this is a force. I, I really think this is a force, guys. I, I think I'm so freaking strong now. I got everything. I got crit wood. I got the freaking good sword. I got two arrows. Two bows and arrows already. I got a genie lamp, which isn't even needed. I just need blueberries. Just get more blueberries now. 
My stamina usage is low at this point. Because this doesn't use that much stamina. This uses like a decent, like these two use, but this doesn't use any stamina. So we don't need any of that. <laughs> this is an entire crit wood. Guys, quick! Does anyone play this game? Is anyone good at this game? Is two crit woods, is that, is that even remotely viable? Probably not, right? Hello? Also, Mercilius, thank you for the $5 hype chat, man. Thank you for the support. Much appreciated, sir. How about you touch me, brother man? I mean, brother man, for $5, I'm just saying, man. $5 is $5, guys. I'll keep it a stack. I think I'm buying the, the mana orb. The mana orb is still going to generate more mana, guys. You feel me? I think I'll buy this. This is pretty good. I, I need to roll for a blueberry. <laughs> GG! Deserved. Alright, hold up. Uh, we put one mana orb here, I think. He's gonna generate nicely. Like, basically, the mana orb generates 66% chance to generate ma one mana when uh, this thing when this thing activates, right? When the, when the items activate that touch it. So, honestly, it's better here. And then I can still put the rock here. I put this rock here. And then I can just get a better positioning. The mana orb is not... Uh, the, the blueberry triggers very often. The blueberry triggers very often. Ooh, this is nice. And then I can just do this. Perfect, guys. You see that? That's why we buy the one one space because I can just uh, arrange really nicely now. Man, I'm getting kind of clean with it. No, mana dagger is nice here. My bad. I didn't look at the chat. Mana dagger. Okay, my bad. Guys, I'm getting kind of clean with it. No, like I know the positioning. I'm smurfing, guys. This is for free basically because you can just sell it for one gold again because it's on sale. So might as well buy it. The carrot is kind of nice, bro. I like a carrot here. One carrot cleanses a random debuff. Let's get one carrot. <laughs> I think I just buy this. Get the carrots over here. And now just this is a nature item as well. And this extra zeal leaf, whatever it's touching, gives us mana. Start of battle, gain one mana and one regeneration for each nature item it's touching. It's touching his, it's touching this, and it's basically like a starfish. I don't have room for this, otherwise I would buy it because it's literally free. It's literally free, but I don't have room for it. Dare I say? Okay, you know what? It's literally free, so let's just buy it. Like, it's literally free. Also, I could create a lucky piggy. Oh, it's actually kind of worth, man. How do we create a lucky piggy here? Where do we have the space for it? Where do we have the space for a lucky piggy? Let me cook. Let me cook, guys. Let me cook. Let me cook. Watch this. Let me cook here. Now I have one more activation as well. Well, I have one less top though. Hmm. Let me cook, guys. Let me cook. I'm cooking. I'm cooking, guys. I'm turbo cooking. Is it even good to get a lucky pig? You could actually point Jin Lamp at Bow with this build. Oh, really? I kind of don't want to, though. Isn't it good to just generate mana and stuff? Oh, I'm kind of cooking, though. Oh, I'm kind of nasty with it. And you know what this is? It's a nature item. Deserved. It's a freaking nature item. GG. It's a forced. Oh, I kind of cooked this, though, man. We're also triple jerking off the food each with each other. Because the food touching each other speeds up all the food. 
Nah, it's just like it's just like I'm I'm telling you guys, man. Is that a new hairstyle, bro? No, it was just wet hair. It was just wet hair when I started the stream. It's not wet anymore, but it stayed in the same position. So I didn't touch it. But you know what's touching? My carrot is touching my banana. My carrot is touching my banana. Now we have a lucky pig, so we have more room again. And the lucky pig just generates money and and go and and stuff. It's not a nature item. I mean, honestly, this, these attack speed satchels are always good. Just give more attack speed to stuff. It's always, always really good. Like, it's 10% attack speed. It's just great. And then I get some more room, so might as well. Nature item. Ah, it's on sale. Do I buy this? What do you think, guys? Do I buy this? I don't think so. I don't think I need lifesteal. I don't think this build is about lifesteal. It's about ramping up our crit and then just tapping them with freaking bows and arrows. Infinite crit chance and then just kill them. With the bow and arrow. One shot. I, I do like the pocket sand because it's a nature item. I just need... Do I need this? I mean, honestly... And then we get this. Items trigger 5% faster. The bird is kind of good here. It's kind of expensive. I'll keep rolling. Another mana orb is great, honestly. Honestly, just great. And then here, I just get one more thingy activation. And then a mana orb can just go. And that's kind of awkward. I mean, the gin lab triggers often. Start of battle, gain two luck. Chance-based effects of the star item are 20% more likely to uh, trigger. I need to I need to aim this at something. I need chance-based events. Chance-based effects. What is chance-based? What has like a percent chance to trigger? Do I even have anything? I do not, huh? Oh no, I do. I'm a mana orb. We pointed at the mana orb. We're pointing it at the mana orb. Do this though, so we don't lose the star on the starfish. And honestly, this is kind of a bad mana orb though. This is a really good mana orb. Can they jerk each other? No, they can't. Frick. I mean, we could definitely get a better mana orb. I would even say it's better up here. No, it's not. Ah, oh, for frick's sake. Mana orb could be so much better, bro. I mean, I need to have this next to the garden. Okay. An orb up here would be nice, but it doesn't add. Ah, then I ruin the blueberries. The blueberries don't trigger as fast. Because this only triggers on Star of Combat. But this triggering on Mana Orb is very nice. Like, uh, honestly, I, I, I should reposition soon, but this is fine for now. Okay, so we have... Th we're at round 13. This is our last win. And then we can use... Uh, we can either cash out our rank points or we can uh, go continue. And we will, of course, continue. I have, I have literally Exodia. Survival mode, beat uh, five more rounds, and it's a forced. Uh, I don't think I want Book of Light. I think this is always just nice to have. Maybe it's a little bit too expensive to buy there. I can just put it on this. Another thingy, another thingy. Quicksand, another nature item. Need it. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so this needs to be in the in the in the garden. This needs to go in the garden somehow. It needs to get jerked by at least two two fruit. Can we can we do that? Can we make it touch two fruit? I don't think so. I think these these guys can touch two fruit. Let's just put it here. But then the mana orb could be here, man. The second mana orb should be somewhere here. Mana orb would be really nice up here, but it's it's definitely a better position somewhere. Here maybe? This looks really good. This looks really good to me. That is very good. And then I mean this is touching the Idrazil leaf, so I can move it up here to touch the mana orb as well. But this is freaking amazing. I think we just keep going. I think this is really good, man. I think I'll save the money. Like what could I possibly roll for? I think I'll save the money. I have 8 gold. Next round. 
Eight bonus gold next round, GG. I think he's dead. I don't give a frick, yeah? Look, he just gets crit. He just gets crit in two seconds. How good is this? I don't think we need more acorn colors, right? Because the whole point is this just use four mana to just freaking give me infinite crit, right? Doesn't this just use... And these guys just generate mana and it just keeps critting. Oh, you're not guaranteed. Oh. No, 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 no. I'm guaranteed crits, man. All your attacks are critical. I'm guaranteed crits, bro. Luck is literally useless for you. Yeah, it is, right? It is. I just need mana generation. Yeah. I'm just generating mana to get infinite crits. Okay. So this is useless. Frick. <laughs> I should sell the piggy soon. Alright, let's just roll. We need armor. I think we need armor now. I don't think we need spikes, so we don't need that. I don't need this. So mana dagger is nice, you're saying. So let's just let's just make a mana dagger. Why don't we? But I mean the, the piggy is giving me the piggy is giving me stuff. You feel me? The piggy is giving me stuff. I don't think this is touching. He needs to touch to cont to make a sack one round for mana dagger. No, I know, but like, where do I put it? Do I just sack one round like this? You sure? Is that worth? I just put the put the thing on this, but this doesn't even have chance based effect. Switch with lamp. Oh, I'm stupid as frick. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Very good, very good. And now the mana orb is much better as well for this round. So I'm not even sacking. I'm actually insanely strong. Do I just buy this? Like, it's kind of nice, no? Do I need another lamp? Another lamp? Like, this is kind of nice, bro. Forget another lamp. But this one, we point at it. GG. It's a force. Pointed at it, GG. And now we have room for the stone here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I mean, like, if you can, like, usually you don't have money to just have your entire backpack be uh, satchels, fanny packs, because they're more expensive. But if you can, if you could, you would like only fanny packs. And, like, these armor pieces, right? The, the one the one by one thingy gives you armor as well. Like, look, this just gives you armor, it's perfect. And honestly, I just buy this. I don't think I'm going for the book, because the book is going to consume mana, which we do not want. And um, this needs to consume mana, so I don't think we want the book, actually. Book sucks too much mana. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Book is good for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so one of the good players is saying book is good for sure, guys. Who else? Any other bids? Dagger ate the orb. No, he he, tra he transformed into a spectral dagger. Use one mana to attack health directly and deal plus seven damage. On stun triggers extra attack. Use one mana to attack direct health. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to consume this much mana. With the book as well. I mean, book is only six gold though. Look how much mana you make. Where can I see that? Where do I see my stats? Is there any is there any way to see my stats? I, I guess only during combat, in fights, okay. Okay, I mean if I'm making enough, then yeah, GG, I guess. Let's go book. Uh, book triggers every three seconds, so we would like it around the orb. Uh, this thing is freaking useless at this point, but it's triggering my Yggdrasil leave. Do we have other nature items? We do. We do, in fact. I 
mean, honestly, is this even good? Like, don't I want to jerk the blueberries? I want to jerk the blueberries, right? The blueberries need to be jerked the most. Blueberry is the most important. Like, just jerk the blueberries, man. We need mana. Um, so, blueberry is getting jerked. Hold up. So, what do we, what do, we do here, though? Percentage-based effect. I want to go onto a mana orb. This mana orb is looking very juicy. So, we're going to ge generate even more mana now. Then this thing is triggering my Yggdrasil leaf. Then I just go blueberry here. And then I have this lamp. This is pretty good, right? This is pretty good. I'm missing only one star. So I'm starting the game with nine mana for free. This thing doesn't need to touch anything. It would be nice to touch a touch the thing if I get a fanny pack. There is one fanny pack slot here. I can just do this. But you're telling me I should aim at the arrow. Is it not fine to aim at this so I can do this? Oh, I can still aim at the arrow. Nice. Okay, hold up. I can still aim at the arrow if I do this, right? Ooh, but guys, attack speed? Attack speed on the on the gin lamp is insane, no? 20% attack speed on the gin lamp. And then we're aiming it on this instead of on the arrow. Arrow shoots twice. Yeah, I mean, it's arrow, yeah. The arrow is the main part of this build. So basically, you're pointing the arrows at this... Because this gives them bonus damage. And then um, this is going to crit often. Because you have a crit wood. So the arrows are just going to shoot twice. And the arrows shooting twice, you just give the gin lamp onto it. And then it gains plus 27 damage. Nah, we're chilling. This is GG. Okay, I understand the build fully now. What a good build, no? And then you want the third bow. You actually want the third bow and arrow. Okay, let's see our mana. 7 mana, 2 mana. I'm gener I'm ke I keep generating it. I'm getting stunned. Oh, frick. What the frick is that guy, man? He just keeps stunning me. Alright, okay, it's fine. We just need to survive two more rounds. So we just need upgrades now. We just need spikes. How do we spike our board the most? The biggest spikes are not daggers, I think. It's not luck. It's something like this. Cap of Resilience is pretty good here. Makes us uh, start off the battle. We're kind of weak. And this gives us uh, reduced the damage taken. And then honestly, I could do this to get more Yggdrasil. But I can't really get more Yggdrasil because this guy's in the way. And I can't really move it away. I can't really move that away. Mm, roll. Uh, this is no spikes, no spikes. I mean, I can just buy this. But honestly, I can't even use it. I don't have enough stamina. Is the stamina potion a spike? Probably, but it's not good enough. This is... This is decent. Another gin lamp is pretty good for 6 gold, no? It's pretty freaking good. Let's see if we get some space. We do get space. Do we get enough space, though? Do we get enough space? We can sell some stuff for sure. I want this. But how do I get that? I can sell the stones. The stones don't really do much, man. But they're, uh, they're triggering my Yggdrasil leaf, so it's pretty nice. Um, I want the garlic somewhere down here to trigger more of this. And I have three lamps. Three lamps is kind of a lot, man. Three lamps is kind of a lot. But I think at this point we need to sell the stones. But honestly, just this one. Just this one, buy this. I would say three lamps is so much. Do we just point the lamps at both the things? I lose an Yggdrasil leaf because I'm pretty sure it's not a nature item. I have three lamps. Okay, one of the lamps is definitely not going to point at anything. This is this is a satisfying uh, form thingy. Okay, I mean, this can just go here, but it triggers often. So I kind of want it next to one mana orb somehow. So instead of the book, it triggers very often. It has a 2.5 second cooldown. So it's pretty nice. Uh, so we want this to trigger this. This is pretty good. And then this just goes somewhere. I need more space huh, to play both of them. Should we just go without the book? Is the book better? Ah, the book is better, right? Full immunity. Full immunity for um, two seconds. Full immunity for two seconds is better. But also, I could just move this away. I lose one Yggdrasil activation. 
I'm sure I can move this somehow. Ain't no way I can move this. Like, I have these garbage things here as well. Like, I ain't no way I can move this. I can probably do this. And then I can probably do... Doesn't really do much. I can probably just do this. And then I have these garbage little guys. So I can just move this up. Okay, I mean, this is good. This is good. This gives me uh, damage reduction for the first three seconds of combat, which is very nice, right? And 10% crit resistance chance. That's really good. He has so many orbs. He has really good orbs. Uh, gems, I mean. He has extremely good gems, but I'm ramping up my crits. My crits are ramping up. My lamps are activating. Nice. Okay, one more. Last round, last round. So just turbo spike here. I mean, another bow and arrow is a big spike. But the question is, can I fit it? Can I fit it? That is the big question. And I'm gonna say no to that. Here somewhere, maybe? It's 8 gold as well. I need to roll. I need to find space to fit it. Burb is best, really? Uh, every three seconds, items trigger 5% faster, up to 40%. Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm going to trust you. You're good at this game, so I have to trust you. So we need to position it well, though. It needs to hit as many units as possible, or as many things as possible. We want it to hit blueberries and stuff, right? Items trigger 5% faster, the orbs and everything, yeah. This is definitely a huge upgrade. So I think I have to roll for space. There is space. I, mean, I have to buy this even though it makes the positioning very awkward we still have to buy this space holy frick where do i put this man jesus christ guys for one round it's not even worth man you want it on weapons mainly okay i want it on all my weapons so maybe down here I can't really move. I, I can't move with the arrow keys anymore because I'm fully locked in. This is the this is the edge. Oh, I can I can get rid of this. This doesn't really do anything. I need a lot of space down there. I need I need a four by four space basically. I need a four by four space. I just need to put it here somewhere. So I need to just kill the garden a little bit. is it's this way around this idiot also it's not touching my weapon like that it's a nature item so the Yggdrasil leaf is fine maybe here it's touching weapon it's touching weapon it's touching weapon now it's only touching the weapons though it's only touching the weapons that's a little bit cringe I can put a blueberry here I mean, it's gonna touch the lamp as well. It's gonna touch the lamp. And I can move uh, down one. I can move down one. I mean, I can't really do move down one if I want the lamp there. It needs to be here to touch the sword. I think this is fine. I put the lamp here. Oh, uh, okay, hold up, hold up. So, maybe up top. Maybe just up top, huh? Oh, this looks much better. This looks in infinitely better. Oh, this looks so easy, okay. This is much better, right? And I have enough space for the stuff up top. And now I don't need to kill my garden. I can jerk off the blueberries again. How do I hit the most blueberries? Like, the blueberries need to touch, like, three fruit. Let's do this. They need to touch, like, three different fruit. Nice. This is good. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm, I'm back to full activation on this. I want this to touch the, the dagger as well. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. 
it's not touching the staff this way. It needs to be here. Can't be here. Can't be here. It needs to be exactly here, basically. But it needs to touch the dagger as well. The dagger could be bottom left. That's pretty reasonable. Every three seconds. We still have good activations on the mana orb. Now the, the, the lamp is not touching the thing though. Do I get rid of food value? I don't think so, man. I, th I think I'm just gonna have two lamps generating luck. What do you think? Or generating uh, mana. Ah, but two lamps generating mana doesn't do that much, bro. Only one lamp matters. Oh, only one lamp can trigger at, at each time. So I, I can trigger a lamp onto this arrow and onto this arrow as well. You can move bird one up with the backpack. No, because I need to... Uh, like, you see how far it goes? It only goes to the sword. It doesn't hit the staff here. Now it hits the staff. So only one lamp works. I didn't know. Okay, so this is fine then. I mean, this is perfect then, right? We're chilling. Do we, even, do we even roll once? I think we don't even roll once. We just buy this whetstone. We just buy the whetstone. We put it here. That's about it, right? Is that it? You eat stats to boost weapon. You need a ton of stats to trigger more. No, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, you mean only one lamp will trigger because you need so many stats. So might as well, like, realistically. But you could, technically, if you had a lot of generation, you could trigger both. Okay, okay. At least that's what I'm getting from your explanation. Okay, I think it's GG. I think we win this. Bro, can I stop using 15 minutes on my last turn? Why the frick am I doing that? It's like a 3 LP diff. This literally gave me like 3 LP. For what? I could have been halfway through the next game. Look, how much did I get? I, I probably would have gotten 18 if I lost, no? If I lost the last one, I still would have gotten 18, no? <laughs> Worth, guys. Alright, GG. Enjoy the video. Subscribe.